Hi everyone! In this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate the different types of content licenses available for iClone content and how you can try out and download content as well. This is the 3D Exchange portal where you can find all kinds of exportable characters and motions. In the characters section you can choose by item or pack where items are simple character models with nothing added on like motions or whatnot. Let's select Matilda here and go to her product page. You can see another preview image and that this content is also available in the Chuck and the Neighbors pack. You can also see that she has two separate prices, an iContent price and an export license price. The default price shown when searching in the 3DX portal will be the export license price, while well, in the marketplace you'll see the iContent price. There are also the options to add the content to your wish list, trial download list or shopping cart. Let's add Matilda to the trial download list first to see what the character looks like in iClone. Your trial download list is near the top of the page and will list all the items you'd like to try out. When you're ready, select your character and then download now. Note that you'll have a limit of 10 trial downloads within a 24 hour period. In Chrome, your download file should appear at the bottom of your browser window, so just click on it to launch the downloader. From there, just follow the steps to download your trial character model. Once the download is finished, make note of the location of your file in iClone. So now in iClone, I'll scroll down in the actor section to find my newly downloaded Matilda. Her image thumbnail is marked with a new tag. Once she's imported, you'll notice that the tag now changes to trial and there's an iClone watermark that appears over your work window. You'll also notice that when I try to access her perform menu, that the motions cannot be found. As you'll recall, I only downloaded the character herself. Okay, so let's take her into 3D Exchange and see what we can do there. To do this, I can simply click the Edit in 3D Exchange button in the Modify panel to the right. The first thing you'll get is a little error message saying that the various motions included in Matilda's perform menu cannot be found. This is because I only downloaded the item version of Matilda. You can also find a combo version on the marketplace complete with a full range of custom motions for her as well. When the character loads in 3D Exchange, you'll see that the bone hierarchy on the left appears in pink to indicate that this is a trial character and is not available for export. Naturally, if I try to export to FBX, a prompt will come up to notify me that I'll first need to purchase the export version of the item. If I select the checkout button, this will take me to the checkout page of the City Marketplace, where I can pay for my character. You'll see in the drop down menu that I have the choice to choose from an export license or iContent license. We'll get to export license later and go for the cheaper iContent alternative for now. An iContent license basically means that you can freely use the character within iClone, but you won't be able to export it to FBX from 3D Exchange for use in external programs. If you want to be able to export content into FBX or BVH for use in other programs, you'll need to purchase the export license. From here, I'll just go through the rest of the steps for my purchase, but I won't actually need to download the file again. Basically when I purchase the iContent license, the system just updated the status of my license via the internet. In iClone, I can now delete my trial character and go to the same folder to see Matilda's thumbnail image again with a new tag on it. When I drag her in this time, you can see that there is no longer a watermark. Alternately, I can simply go to the project tab and find the update button in the modify panel to the right in order to modify the license status of all items on the screen. Now back in 3D Exchange, you'll see a prompt telling me to press F6 to refresh the character. When I do this, you'll immediately notice that my character hierarchy will turn maroon, indicating that it now contains an iContent license and can be exported in iClone format. Okay, so now we have our character, let's look for some motions. Since she's a girl, let's first look for some female motions. If I want to preview one of the motions, all I need to do is click on the play button in the thumbnail image, and a small video window will appear to demonstrate the motion. 
I can use the arrow keys on either side to browse through and look at other motions as well. But what if you want to see what the motion looks like on your own character? Well, I can do that by previewing the motion in 3D Exchange. With 3D Exchange open in the background and my character loaded, I'll just select the Preview in 3D Exchange button. This will give me another file in my Chrome window that I can click to activate the downloader. Once the preview motion is finished downloading, it will load in 3D Exchange and appear as a pink trial motion in the motion library and immediately apply to the character. Now I can see what the motion will look like on my character. Nice and feminine. Let's try it again, this time with a tougher motion. I'm going to check out the boxing motions in the Mixamo section. This getting ready motion seems pretty tough. Let's see right away what it looks like on my character by previewing again in 3D Exchange. I'll run through the same procedure to download the file and it will load up in 3D Exchange once it's finished downloading. So there you go. Now we can make Matilda look a bit tougher. Alright, so now I'm going to upgrade my motions so that I can actually use them in iClone and export them. To do this, I'll just go up to the Buy Export License button on the bar above my work window. When I do that, you'll see that not only my motions came up, but also Matilda, and that the Export License option is selected for all of my content. In the case of Matilda, however, the original price of my iContent version of Matilda will later be deducted from the total I see here. I'll also put one of my motions as iContent to see what happens later when I try to export. Here in the next step, you can see that the sum of 1000 DA points, or the original price of the iContent version of Matilda, is deducted from the total. After that, just follow the steps like you did previously to update the content. Okay, now after I refresh in 3D Exchange, my boxing motion is still in maroon, indicating it is eye content, while the Matilda character and the stretch motion are black, indicating they contain a full export license. So when I try to add my boxing motion to the perform list and export to FBX, I'll again be prompted to purchase the export license. I'll follow the same procedure as before and get the export license so I can export my whole package. This time when I refresh in 3D Exchange, both motions will be black, indicating they're ready for export. What I want to do next is simply click the Export to FBX button at the top, and then set my export options, such as whether or not I want the motions to be embedded into the character or converted as separate FBX files. I'll just export everything as a single FBX, name my character, and press OK. After a quick conversion, you can see now that my FBX file has been exported to my desktop. It's as easy as that to test out and purchase any of the huge variety of character and motion content available in the marketplace.